Welcome Legendary Proxy Faithin to Zenless Zone Zero in D&D. I'm the Zeo Striker Bang Boo guiding you through this build. Today's commission will be about the Sons of Kaladin's leader, Caesar King. To start things out, we'll pick Caesar's species, which is human. She gets Resourceful, which grants her heroic inspiration after a long rest. She picks up proficiency in performance and the Elvish and Orc languages. Caesar also gets an origin feat, which is Magic Innate. This lets her pick two cantrips and one first level spell from the wizard class and can cast them with charisma. The two cantrips will be Sword Burst and Firebolt, and then the first level spell, Shield. Next is Caesar's background, and the closest is Guard. Guard gives her proficiencies in athletics, perception, and playing card set. Caesar also gets the alert feat, which lets her add her proficiency mod to her initiative and allows her to swap her initiative with an ally immediately after rolling it. Then she gets a plus two to strength and a plus one to wisdom. Now finishing up with Caesar's stats. She'll go standard array and gets a 15 in strength, a 10 in dexterity, 12 for constitution, eight sadly in intelligence, 13 for wisdom, and 14 in charisma. Caesar wraps up her strength with a 17 and her wisdom with a 14 thanks to guard. Caesar will start as a paladin. At level 1 paladin, she becomes proficient in insight and persuasion. She also gets lay on hands which gives her a pool of healing power that she can use to heal others as a bonus action. Caesar also gets weapon mastery and picks up longsword, sap, and hand axe vex. Sap makes it so that on hit the target has disadvantage on its next attack and vex gives Caesar advantage on her next attack if she hits. She also gets access to first level spells and picks up Thunder, Smite, and Bless. At level 2 Paladin, Caesar gets a fighting style and that will be dueling. If she's only holding a weapon in one hand, she adds plus 2 to the damage every time she attacks with said weapon. She also gets Paladin Smite, where she gets Divine Smite always and can cast it once a day for free. She'll also pick up the spell Divine Favor. At level 3, Caesar gets her subclass, the Oath of Glory. At this level, she gets Channel Divinity and has two charges of it. This lets Caesar use one channel to use a bonus action to detect otherworldly beings for 10 minutes. She can use a channel for Inspiring Smite, so that way after using Divine Smite, she can roll dice and distribute that roll to willing creatures as temporary HP. Or she can use her channel for Peerless Athlete to give her advantage on strength and dex checks and jump 10 feet more. The subclass also gives Caesar the spells Heroism and Guiding Bolt, and she can pick up the spell Cure Wounds as well. At level 4 Paladin, Caesar gets an ability score improvement and will pick up the feat Shield Master. This gives her a plus 1 in strength making it an 18, but also lets her shield bash a target after hitting with an attack to try and push back or knock them prone. It also lets her use a reaction to either only take half damage on a fail deck save or no damage on a success. Caesar also picks up the spell Shield of Faith. At level 5 Paladin, Caesar gets Extra Attack, Faithful Steed, and access to level 2 spells. Extra Attack lets her make 2 attacks with 1 action instead of 1. Faithful Steed gives Caesar the Fine Steed spell permanently and the ability to cast it once a day for free. The subclass gives her Enhance Ability and Magic Weapon as for Pair Spells and she picks up the spell Prayer of Healing. At level 6 Paladin, Caesar gets Aura Protection, which makes it so that way herself and any allies within 10 feet of her gets a plus to saving throws based off of her Charisma mod. Level 7 Paladin gives Caesar Aura of Alacrity. This increases Caesar's speed by 10 feet, and any ally that starts or enters the Aura for the first time, they get an extra 10 feet of movement speed as well until the end of their next turn. She also picks up the spell Aid. Level 8 Paladin gets Caesar an ability score improvement, and that will be a plus 2 to Charisma, making it a 16. At level 9 Paladin, Caesar gets Abjur Foes and access to 3rd level spells. Abjur Foes lets her spend a channel to choose targets equal to her Charisma modifier and make them make a save or be frightened of her for a minute or until they take damage. And they can only do one of the following, move, take an action, or a bonus action. Her subclass also gives her the spells Haste and Protection from Energy. Caesar will also pick up the spells Spirit Shroud and Crusader's Mantle. At level 10 Paladin, Caesar gets Aura of Courage, which makes those in her aura immune to being frightened. And if they are frightened and enter, that condition has no effect until they leave. Level 11 gives Caesar Radiant Strikes, and this means from now on when she hits with a melee attack, the target takes extra radiant damage. She also picks up the spell Locate Object. Level 12 Paladin gets Caesar another ability score improvement, and that will be another plus 2 to Charisma, making it an 18. At level 13 Paladin, Caesar gets access to level 4 spells. Her subclass gives her the spells Freedom of Movement and Compulsion, but she picks up the spell Staggering Smite. At level 14 Paladin, Caesar gets Restoring Touch. This allows Caesar to remove one or more conditions from a target with Lay on Hands. 
Level 15 Paladin gives Caesar Glorious Defense. If an ally or herself is hit by an attack, Caesar can use a reaction to add her charisma modifier to their AC to potentially have the attack miss. If the attack does miss and they are within weapon range, Caesar can make an attack against the attacker with the same reaction. She can do this several times a day based on her charisma modifier. She also picks up the spell Locate Creature. At level 16 Paladin, Caesar gets an ability score improvement and will pick up the feat Sentinel. This increases her strength by 1 making it 19. She can also make an opportunity attack against a creature that uses its disengage action near her or attacks another near her. If she hits at said target, their speed becomes 0 for the rest of the turn. At level 17, Caesar gets access to 5th level spells. Her subclass gives her legend lore and regal presence, while she picks up the spell Circle of Power and Destructive Wave. At level 18 Paladin, Caesar gets Aura Expansion, which increases her Aura's range up to 30 feet. Level 19 Paladin gets Caesar an epic boon. Here she'll pick the boon of Fortitude. This gives her a plus 1 strength, making it a 20, and gets her 40 extra HP. Whenever she gets healed as well, she gets additional HP equal to her constitution modifier once a turn. She also picks up the spell Banishing Smite. At Caesar's final Paladin level 20, she gets Living Legend. This empowers herself as a bonus action to give herself advantage on charisma saves, to use a reaction to reroll a saving throw she fails, and once a turn she can make an attack roll a hit if it misses and this lasts for a total of 10 minutes. She can do this once a day for free and then spend a 5th level spell slot to use it again. And that concludes the fiercest leader of the Outer Ring, Caesar King. She's a compassionate leader who won't back down from a fight if given the chance. Thank you Proxy for watching this video and to complete the commission don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share it for extra rewards too. But until next time, I wish you all a great morning, evening, or afternoon wherever you are. Ciao ciao!